We see unmarried couples building lives and families together all the time. But what are the financial implications of such an arrangement if the couple splits? In Gesvoda v. Wright, we examine one such case in the context of a million-dollar relationship. Bruce Gesvoda and Sabrina Wright were a couple that began living together in 1988 when Bruce was 28 and Sabrina was 17. At the time, the couple's combined net worth was less than $2,000. The following year, Bruce got his electrician license and wanted to start his own company. He asked Sabrina to drop out of high school to help, which she did. Working together daily, often for long hours, the two began building his business from the ground up. Sabrina also maintained their household. In September of 1983, the couple had a daughter, Jay, and opened a joint checking account into which Bruce deposited company income and from which Sabrina paid bills. Sabrina stopped working at the company to primarily care for Jay. A few years later, however, Bruce started his own investment company, to which Sabrina also began contributing significant help while still caring for Jay and the home. Sabrina wasn't compensated for these contributions. During their 16-year relationship, the two discussed marriage several times. Bruce told her the assets belonged to them both and that marriage was just a piece of paper. They both regularly referred to their accumulation of assets as ours. Shortly after Sabrina left Bruce in 2004, he filed a declaratory action in trial court to determine property interests. At the time, their combined net worth was over a million dollars. Sabrina counterclaimed to recover under theories of unjust enrichment and implied contract. A vocational expert testified that the value of the services Sabrina rendered to the couple's household and both companies between 1989 and 2003 was about $470,000. The trial court awarded Sabrina $250,000 for unjust enrichment, stating that the presumption of an equal division of property for disillusion actions didn't apply here. Bruce appealed, contending that recovery under the theory of unjust enrichment wasn't justified because he compensated Sabrina for her services during the relationship. 